So here in the electrical room, the control panel, uh, I know I've talked to some First Nation operators and they're told not to open the panel, not to uh, touch anything inside there. But sometimes we have to and we have to see how our system operates behind these panels. So if something goes wrong, a, a tiny fuse blows and sometimes when a fuse blows, it's just a simple pushing the fuse back in, resetting it. And if you don't know where those are, that makes your job uh, a lot diff more difficult. So here behind our control panel, it is in the process of being redone. We're getting a, an upgrade on our PLC. But we, all these wires are numbered and labeled. And if you have a good understanding, a, a, not just a, well, let's have a look and see. I have a little bit of an understanding on the controls behind the panel doors and how to follow the wires. Uh, like when you run into a problem, like a pump won't start or something, sometimes just a simple breaker. So these are my little breakers. And if one of them is tripped, they'll actually be sticking out. And it's just a matter of pushing the breaker in and the system starts running again. That's all it takes. And when I first started this job, I didn't know that. I was sort of worried like, wow, uh, the system isn't running, how come? I'll, I'll call my manager and the manager comes down and he's like, oh, right here. Pushed a fuse in and boom, the system was running. Like, wow, okay, I didn't know we had breakers inside there. Now I do. And then working with engineers that came in and had done work for us, it's, it's very good to sit and watch them, ask questions about these systems, like what are you doing there? What are these for? What's that for? To, to better understand your system because sometimes as First Nation operators, we are in rural places and we don't necessarily have a, a professional on your speed dial just, just to come out one hour after to help you fix the problem before you, your people start running out of water. You gotta be able to get in here, find the problem, backtrace if you understand your PLC, see what's going on. And if you can't fix it, at least you've done that stuff and you can report that to your engineer and that gives the engineer or your your water professional more understanding of what's going on what's happening so the more information you get the more they can think about what's happening or what may be happening